If you're painting a door, try to remove the hardware if possible. I make sure to strip off the old paint right away so it can look neat again later. And while you're at it, please give me another thumbs up. You can see that the door has started to bleed. I'll clean this with water first and then proceed to sand it. I'm doing wet sanding as well. This way, you can beautifully polish that spot. Afterward, I'll clean it thoroughly, and then you can apply primer. Once you've primed it, you can proceed with the top coat. I recommend reattaching the lock two days later to prevent it from sticking. But how do you paint along the hinges? When painting a window frame, start by masking off the hinges. Next, carefully cut along the edges, but pay attention. The trick is also in cutting the openings, or else you might peel the tape off. I always use Kip's yellow washi tape because it creates sharp lines and leaves no adhesive residue. Especially on metal surfaces, adhesive residue can become an issue quickly. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, as I'll also be showing you how to tape the other side. This one are security hinges with built-in pins, and you can definitely do this too. Here's how. I'm using Kip Tape 3308, and I start by taping along the edge. Then, I cut out the security pins at the top and bottom. Afterward, you can neatly tape the rest. Once you've taped off the hinges, you can start painting the frame. However, if you have wood rot in your frame, you'll need to address this first. I have a very useful trick for that which I'd like to teach you so that you can effectively repair the damage. In the center of the screen, you'll discover a video where I demonstrate efficient wood rot repair. Subscribing to my channel grants access to valuable painting tips, helping you save while learning essential home maintenance. So, hit that subscribe button, give a thumbs up, and stay tuned for the next video on wood rot repair.